And believe me, I know what I'm talking about. Wine, a roan and a crown. I can handle that. Thank you, Henry. I just wish there were others here I could trust so well. God bless. Jesus Christ be praised. I want to learn to read. Who should I go and see? There's a retired scribe in Ujits. He could teach you. Farewell. God be with you, lad. What can I do for you? God save, my lord. I hope things are peaceful in your fiefdom. Peace? Peace is rare in these times. But right now I'm more troubled by politics than warfare. What's wrong? The monastery stalled the purchase of stone and everything connected to the building project. <laughs> and now I find out it's because of the quality of the stone blocks. Or so they say. I don't believe a word of it. It looks like profiteering to me. What do they say is wrong with the stone? Supposedly there was an accident when one of the stone blocks broke loose, fell and killed someone. But the quarry master swears by all the saints it isn't possible. He says he sends only the best stone, and I believe him. He's reliable and an experienced quarryman. Profiteering? What's the monastery trying to accomplish? To lower the price. What else? We've already given them a fair price, and they still delay with payment. Or worse. Worse? You mean they'll stop paying completely? You could put it that way. They're looking for an excuse to back out of the contract, and find another quarry where they'll be able to secure a more favorable deal. And is anyone dealing with the problem? Well... My Chamberlain is in charge of it, as always. But all he's done is send them a letter. He says putting more pressure on the monastery could provoke them. Those are his words. So there's nothing else that can be done? I don't know. I've been thinking about taking a more direct approach. But I expect the Chamberlain won't even hear of it. He'll just keep on sending them polite letters and hoping that does the trick. I could help with this. Do you think this is a job for you? You aren't even in my service. I do serve Sir Radzig. He knows he can rely on me when he needs me, and I've never let him down. This is true. So do you want to go to Sassol and ask about the stone? Yes, I'll do it. Good. I'd like you to ask about the stone and keep your ears open. See if they aren't talking about another quarry. I'll do my best. Hopefully they'll talk to me. They will. You ride in my name. So don't forget to remind them of it. 